This episode of Ties That Help was brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up guys, if you have watched my videos recently, you know I've been traveling a lot. I was out in LA and then I went to San Francisco and then Seattle, and now I'm back in North Carolina, my home where I'm from. I'm actually staying at my mom's house right now, which you see behind me, uh, because I moved out of my house uh, before I went on the trip to LA. So yeah, I don't have a house, so I'm kind of homeless right now. It's nice to be back in North Carolina because obviously my family's here, but also my dog is here, Mac. Mac, come here buddy, come here Mac, come here. Come here. This is my doggy Mac. He's huge. He's a pit bull and a little bit mastiff. Like half pit bull, half mastiff. Ow! And he just called me. See, I'm happy to see him again. It was hard to be without him for like two months. I really missed him. Anyway, so the point of this video, I'm going to be telling you seven of the best travel apps, or at least the apps that I used uh, while I was traveling. You may already know some of these apps, but that's completely fine. I just kind of want to make one video so that I have all my favorite travel apps in like one list. And hopefully, uh, you just find one of these apps that you will eventually use. So, the first app is Uber. So, Uber is a cab service, and they have an iPhone app with it. And it's really awesome. Like, since I took my first Uber, I have never taken I think maybe like one time I took a regular taxi cab and the only reason that was was because I was at the airport and sometimes they have like weird rules about uh, like Ubers picking people up at airports. So it's a cab service that has an iPhone app and you can basically set your pickup location. It uses GPS so it determines where you are. Uh, you say pick me up here. You can see all the Uber cars that are driving around you and there's different options you can pick from. Uh, there's Uber X which is the cheapest way. There's Uber XL uh, which is like a bigger car if you have like multiple people or like lots of bags which we took that a few times. There's also Uber Black which is a little bit more expensive than like a regular cab, but you get picked up in a sweet ride. Like every time it's gonna be a black car, which is normally nice. And there's also Uber SUV, uh, which is pretty much the same thing, except you're gonna get picked up an SUV. And at the same time, it's cheaper or the same price as like a regular cab. And it's so much more convenient. You can see that how long it's gonna take to get there, like what time you can uh, pull up and put your address in. You get like a fair quote of how much ride it's gonna cost before you even go on it. I really love Uber, it's such an awesome service. I love their iPhone app and just how it works. Uh, it's just so convenient. Like, I really don't know how we got around uh, in, like, L.A. and stuff like that if we didn't uh, have Uber. I'd have had to, like, call a regular cab and be like, hey, uh, pick me up here. I don't really know exactly where I'm at, but come find me. So next time you need a cab, if you've never used Uber, try it out. And uh, you can actually get your first ride free, 30 bucks. It's not like an ad or anything like that. But if you want to use my promo code, I'll get also a $30 free ride uh, when you try it out. Pretty much just download the Uber app, put in my promo code, you get a $30 ride, I get a $30 ride. And as long as you don't go over that 30 bucks, it's completely free, which is pretty awesome. You don't even have to keep using the service. You can just get a one-time free $30 cab ride. So like go out and do something this weekend, use the cab ride. So if you do want to check out Uber, I'll put a link down below in the description, just check it out there and it'll have my promo code uh, beside it. So the next app is Airbnb. If you guys have never heard of this, they also have a website too. I wish I use sometimes, most of the time I use the app. Uh, pretty much what you do is you go on and you can rent out people's places, uh, whether it's like their full apartment or their condo or house, uh, or you can just rent a room out from them uh, and actually like stay in someone else's home. It kind of works the same way as if you're booking a hotel room. You pick the dates, like when you're gonna check in, when you're gonna check out, and you can see pictures of the place, you can read reviews on them. Uh, some of them don't have reviews because nobody's ever stayed in their place before, I would suggest you pick the ones with reviews. The host also fills in the description of the place so you get to read all the details that they say about it. And yeah, it's basically like you're renting a hotel room, but you're getting someone's house. So like when I was traveling, uh, me and my girlfriend actually rented two different places on Airbnb and we rented out an entire apartment. Again, you could stay with someone, like have your own separate room, but that's kind of weird, especially for just me and my girlfriend because we'd be living in someone else's house and sharing it with them. But we chose to do like an entire place. So we rented one apartment and then another apartment and both of them were fantastic. Fantastic. It was kind of weird staying in someone else's home, but the people were really nice. We met them, they gave us the keys, they left, and we didn't see them again or really hear from them much, uh, like other than like a text message here or there, until we checked out uh, that day and I just gave them the keys and I was gone. And then the second Airbnb place we stayed in was also really nice. It was just like a basic clean apartment. Uh, I had a nice kitchen and everything like that, and it was enjoyable. We actually never even met the guy. We just like took the key from under the mat where he left it, and then we checked out, we put it right back under the mat for the next guest to come in. So he was pretty much like traveling away from his home and just renting it out to people. On Airbnb. It also works the other way around. If you want to go and rent your place on Airbnb, uh, you can put it up there and like say you're traveling and you're going to the beach or whatever. Uh, for a few days, you can rent out your Airbnb place for while you're going and make some extra cash. So next time you're traveling, if you're looking at hotels and stuff like that, give Airbnb a check and uh, just take a look. You may see something on there you like for a cheaper price. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link down below. So the next app I'm going to talk about is called Postmates and pretty much what it is is a delivery service for food. Uh, so how this works is you go on the app, uh, you pick a restaurant or whatever else it is. It could be like a convenience 
store sometimes, I think. Uh, but you go in here and you say, I want this, this, and this for off the menu. And then a driver will go and order the food for you at whatever restaurant, like say I want a Taco Bell right now. I could be like, all right, I want this from Taco Bell. A driver from Postmates will then accept my request. Uh, he'll go to Taco Bell, order everything that I told him, uh, and then he'll bring it to me. And basically I just pay for the cost of the food and then the cost of the delivery. I actually only use Postmates once in LA and the reason I did was because they were doing a free promotion for ice cream uh, where you could actually get ice cream delivered to your door, the ice cream is free and the delivery was free. Like freaking free ice cream delivered to your door. And it was haagen -Dazs. it was amazing. And they're always having like different deals and specials and stuff like that, uh, where you can get like free delivery from a place if you get a certain item or uh, something's free from their place and you just pay for the delivery. I know you can get Postmates in at least LA, you may be able to do it like New York or other big cities and stuff like that. Uh, it's only in a few spots, but uh, it is pretty useful. You wouldn't use it like every day, but uh, if you're like at your house, you don't really have a ride or transportation around, or you just don't feel like leaving, you can order some food uh, directly to your place, your hotel room or whatever it is. So if you do try out Postmates and you want to, you can use my promo code right there. Uh, you'll get $10 delivery credit and so will I. The next app is Yelp, which you may already know. A lot of people use it. It's really popular. Uh, pretty much you can go in here and like search for places and stuff like that, read reviews on it, uh, see different stuff and pictures from people. That's uh, really helpful to like find restaurants and places you don't know uh, and actually see stuff on the menu that's really good to eat. I went to this Mediterranean place and like had some garlic chicken that a bunch of people recommended uh, and it was really, really good with some rice, stuff like that. Oh, it was fantastic. But yeah, I wouldn't have known to go there and get that if it wasn't for Yelp and reading the reviews from different people uh, about that restaurant. You can also use it to find like bars and coffee shops, stuff like that. Uh, even in your own area, it's useful just to find like restaurants that's good that you may have not heard of or tried uh, that people recommend and like. The next app is Lyft and it's spelled L-Y-F-T, not how you actually think it's spelled. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as Uber. It's a cab service. You use your GPS to like determine your location. You request a ride, a driver picks you up, and then you go to your destination. Your credit card's connected to it. It's super simple, super easy. The difference between Uber and Lyft is that it's easier to become a Lyft driver than it's an Uber driver because uh, you can just have like any car so you can't like select what type of ride you're being picked up in. Uh, so the car could be kind of like crappy or it could be really nice. It really just depends. So far using the Lyft, I haven't had a bad experience. I took a lot of rides and it seems like every driver is pretty nice and the cars are halfway decent and yeah, it's pretty good. I forgot to mention it before, but with Uber and Lyft, you can actually rate your drivers after the ride. Uh, so if they're a bad driver, or they're sketchy or whatever, you can just like rate them bad. And if they get a bad rating after a certain point, uh, they can't drive for Lyft or Uber anymore. So you pretty much have a majority of good drivers and just unless they're like really new. The next app is Expedia, which I hate mentioning and giving them promotion because uh, I always have problems with them and I just hate their customer service, but I do actually use the service to buy like all my flights on. You can also use it for hotels. It's pretty much like any other travel site like Orbitz or Priceline or anything like that. Uh, but we use this for hotels also uh, when we're like traveling around and we're like looking for a place to stay for the night. We'll pull up the hotels. You can like filter it by like if they have a hot tub or the price or the rating or the area or whatever. Uh, it's just easy to find a hotel quickly uh, for the price range or whatever you're looking for. Uh, using this app. I've just used Expedia because I've like built some points and credits and stuff up on it. Uh, so that's what I just stick with. But yeah, you can use other sites. I don't recommend it. But if you need something, Expedia is an easy way to get flights and hotel rooms. And the last app I got to show you guys is called Free Wi-Fi Finder. I actually found out about this by the end of my trip. Uh, so I actually didn't get to use it. But uh, pretty much what it does is you go on the app, you pull up a map, uh, you can look at your current location or just like pick a certain area. And you can actually see all the Wi-Fi hotspots that are around you. So this is really helpful when you're traveling. Like for me, I was uploading vlogs and videos, stuff like that. I didn't have good Wi-Fi. It was crap Wi-Fi at most of the hotels I stayed in uh, or even the places sometimes. If I would've used that when I was traveling, I could've went on here. Uh, you tap a spot where you see a Wi-Fi. Uh, so that's where they got Wi-Fi at. It gives me the number. I can tap right there to get directions. I can add it to my favorites. And yeah, it's pretty much an easy way to find hotspots uh, for Wi-Fi around your area. Definitely if you're traveling and you work online or you're on vacation or something and you need some good Wi-Fi or just to find a Wi-Fi hotspot near you because you don't have it at a place you're staying, uh, this app will come in handy. So there you go. There's some of my favorite apps I used while traveling. If you guys have any suggestions for me for apps that you use while you're traveling, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you want to check out any of these apps, I'll have links down below in the description to all of them if you want to download them. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right there and you'll be notified on your YouTube homepage when I post new videos. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Now before we get out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Please put your website to work while you play. A website is working 24 seven, so no matter where you are or what you're doing, your website is online and people can find you. Start building your website today and you can get a domain name for just $1.99. So to get a sweet deal, go to GoDaddy.com and use promo code 199HELP at checkout. Some limitations do apply, so see the website for all the details.